Hello peeps and welcome back to the AJ Engineering. That flash is driving me nuts. Okay, last episode we got a lot of stuff done. We built the flawless calculator, which is really nice. I did some mining off camera, restocked my diamonds, and made a block of end diamond. So I got my tree planted over here. Nice diamond tree sitting right over there. That's great. What can we do with it? Well, you can use that to get flawless and weakened diamonds. So, we're going to get right into it. I need to make an algorithm assimilator, which takes a sickle, some reinforced iron blocks, and an algorithm separator. This is reinforced iron blocks and empowered diamantine, two stone separators, two power cubes. Stone separators each require power cubes, so I need six power cubes total, which means I need six blocks of redstone. To get six power cubes, remember I've had a bunch of coal balls compressing. I knew I was going to need them eventually. That's going to make two stone separators. Which is going to make... Uh, I'm going to need some more reinforced iron, I bet. Which means I'm going to need more reinforced stone. So cobblestone, wood... I really need to start automating my wood production. We'll just use chestnut for now. We'll use the wood planks. I really need to get a tree farm going. Like, yeah, it's, it's gotten silly. Seven blocks of you. Uh, I'm missing the empowered diamantine, apparently. No, I'm not. Okay, there's the algorithm separator. The sickle is a reinforced shovel and a reinforced axe. So we'll need a little bit of reinforced stone. And some sticks, I believe. Reinforced shovel should be made like that. Reinforced axe should be this. Give it. Add you together to get the sickle. Add you together. And a crafting table to get the algorithm assimilator. This thing attaches to trees. So we'll come over here. And on the diamond tree, it doesn't work on the tanzanite or the amethyst tree. These trees have to be pulled out with a stone assimilator. And the only thing it gives is hunger and health points. And I don't... I have enough hunger things at the moment. Uh, the health points, I don't have a health process... or a health uh, module anyway. And I'm also going to build something that's going to make both of these irrelevant. So I'm not going to worry about that. But we'll put the algorithm assimilator on there and it's going to start producing diamonds for me. Flawless and weakened. This is going to cut my diamond usage significantly. We're going to let that go. Off camera, as, pros uh, as promised, I went ahead and got an ender tank set up. I have a ranged pump in the end that is doing all sorts of work for me, pulling in tons of lava. And I have a shit ton of the Pahoea lava here now. That's great. What do I do with it? Well, so what I did with it, but I need to automate it. I don't want to do this. So, we're going to grab a bucket. We're going to pick up this water. I'm going to make a fluid placer. Which is just two buckets and an auto placer. Auto placer is a basic coil, which is easy. We're going to want two of those, actually. And... Palace crystal, which I have. No problem. There's my auto placer. We'll convert that to a fluid placer. Nice. So, fluid placer, we're going to put down right there. Which direction are you pointing? I think you're pointing up. I don't want you pointing up. I definitely don't want you pointing up. Um, 
That's the way I want you. And we're going to get a conduit. So we're going to get it out of here. Attach you. You will extract always. You will insert. That's great. That gets me my pahoe lava. Let's go ahead and put down my water bucket. Great. Basalt. Awesome. That's what I want. Now I need a way to automatically break it. We have the auto breaker, which uses the basic coil and the void crystal. Also easy. Punch a hole there. Place that. You're going to break. Awesome. We have basalt, except we have a problem too. Probably see the problem already. This thing is full of pahoa lava, but it's not placing. Because there's a source block of water right next to it. Pick up the water and it'll place. Well, how do we fix that? We fix that using a mechanical user. I actually did test this build off camera because I wanted to make absolutely sure it was going to work. So, we need a bow. We need a dispenser. That gets us a mechanical user. Mechanical user, I'm going to place right here. Not facing that way. And I don't want to put that much out. Mechanical user goes right there. We're going to give you a bucket. <laughs> How nice is that? Now, the water placing constantly is probably going to get old. So I might want to put a sound muffler on that. Now, me not being able to hear anything I'm doing is going to get old, too. But at least I don't have to deal with the constant sound. And if I'm in here, I should be far enough away that I shouldn't hear. Or the sound muffler shouldn't stop me from hearing things. How am I doing for power in there? Okay, you're pretty much full, so we'll shut you off. Down here, I did finish my run of Iridium. So I am now working on transforming a Wither Skeleton Skull into a Nether Star. It's 33% of the way done. That should tell you how much power this thing eats. It eats a ton of power. Um, I did get about a half a stack of diamonds off camera. I just went and mined out entire chunks in the mining world. A chunk should generally have at least one uh, set of diamonds in it. So if you just go mine an entire chunk out, you'll probably find some diamonds. Now, this has got me to a point where I am getting lots of basalt. Lots and lots of basalt. But we're going to need a couple more items. One of the things we're going to need is some flawless glass. Flawless glass is two flawless diamonds and two glass. That's why I'm making the flawless diamonds. And you can see, this thing is already producing shit tons. We'll get two stacks of glass, and we're going to we're going to switch this into flawless crafting. You, 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 and you gives me four stacks of you. Awesome, exactly what I wanted. I might actually need to figure out a way to put something on you to store more stuff because this is silly, but not as silly as what we're about to get into. <laughs> Remember what I promised last episode? I'm going to show you guys something absolutely, completely stupid this episode. And it all starts with something that I got completely by accident. The Flawless Greenhouse. The flawless Greenhouse is an upgrade of the basic greenhouse that we were using at the beginning of the game. But, 
this greenhouse, unlike the other ones, doesn't have its own structure that it builds. You have to build the structure. That structure has to be built using a flawless greenhouse, a carbon dioxide generator, which is why I built that, flawless glass, which is why I have all that, stable stone, which is why I'm baking that, and quartz slabs. Now, I don't have the quartz slabs yet, but easy enough to make those. It's just three blocks of quartz. And blocks of quartz are just nether quartz. Nether quartz in a line like that, block of quartz. We're going to get 66 of these things because I want a ton of slabs. I can always put the slabs back together if I need to. It's going to get me two stacks of slabs. Nice. Stable stone. Uses basalt. Oh, I have a ton of it. Like, a whole ton of it. Thought I had more than that. Oh, this thing isn't producing... Oh, you know work. You have lava. You are producing the Pahoa lava. Oh, this thing is capped out. That's why it's not producing. The liquid heat exchanger can't transfer its heat because the MFSU that's behind it is full. I know it's not. Why you no take power? Why you no take power? Because I've got you hooked to an input, and that's full. Some bitch. Okay, well. I mean, that's easy enough to fix. One piece of glass fiber. Now, this is going to have the side effect of unshielding my reactor. But this thing's safe. So I'm... Oh, no, don't want that. Pick that up. It will have the side effect of unshielding my reactor, but this reactor is safe. I don't have to worry about that reactor blowing up unless I do something really dumb. This thing should now be able to drain its power, and this should be able to create all the power I could ever want. So we'll go ahead and put my shielding back in. We'll plug this back up. And now I should be getting a lot more of this. kind of want 30 to start. There we go. So, stable stone is made with two reinforced stone bricks and some basalt. Actually, that's not a calculator recipe. That's a crafting table recipe. So, I'll just go ahead and make all the stable stone. Good. We're going to come over here because this is where I'm going to build it. I'm going to build it right about here. This starts out by placing down four stable stone. On this side, you put the greenhouse. On this side, you put the CO2 gen. On top of that, you put more stable stone. On top of that, you put quartz slabs. Then, you put reinforced, or you put flawless glass back this way. You continue the quartz slabs the whole way back, out there. We're going to bring it back one more. Then on the other side, you repeat the stable stone build. That finishes the greenhouse. All I have to do now is connect power to this thing. You also want to put a chest on the front of it if you're going to need a chest. 
We are not. And I'll get to that in a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I made it five deep. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, in here, you put your farmland. Or it'll automatically till the farmland for you, I think. Now, the farmland won't stay tilled. You can put water blocks underneath this flawless glass to keep it tilled. If you need to. We don't. Why? I'll show you in a minute. We need to get power to this thing. I think I'm just going to run a power line from over there. Let's go ahead and get my dirt back down. And I need to go down. Okay, that's the stone bricks from my farmland. This punches into here. And I have, oh, that's just a thermoelectric running that. Okay, that's not gonna work. That's The thermoelectric is enough to power the farm. It's not gonna be enough to power everything. So I'm gonna wanna have We're going to need another power cell. There's no getting around it. I wish I had a better way to do wireless power transfer, but I don't. Uh, we'll need two pieces of nether quartz. Because we got to transfer that. And you know, it occurs to me that me trying to be secret about that is not going to work because it's going to be in the title of the episode. It's an ender pearl farm. It's a stupid ender pearl farm. You'll see why. Like, I'm not even joking when I say that this is probably the stupidest farming thing that I've seen. It is that dumb. I've seen some dumb farms. This takes the taco. Now I need more diamantine. Okay, so we'll get a block of it, because there's no point in doing single runs of it. Give me you. Get back down there. Thank you. Okay, this requires a benetite, a fertilizer, not a whole stack of it, just one. Not you. Uh, let's see, what is the diamantine? Ash, fertilizer, lithium. I made a bunch of lithium. So I got plenty of that. I have a bunch of ash from burning a peat earlier. So we got a bunch of that too. So lithium, beniotites, ash, fertilizer. We'll get that going. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and get our endstone in here. Actually, we're not going to get the endstone in. The flawless greenhouse will grow ender pearls. It will not harvest them. So we're going to have to come up with a separate way to harvest our ender pearls. I have figured out a way. And it involves mechanical users. We're going to need 10 mechanical users. So I need 10 bows. To get 10 dispensers. To get... 10 mechanical users. What am I out of? Dispensers? Can't be out of dispensers. I made 10. Apparently I didn't. There. 
10 mechanical users. We're going to dig out in here. We're going to try to get in there. Come in. Thank you. We're going to place the mechanical users looking down at me. Now, you can put them in and use a wrench, but this is easier, if you ask me. We need end stone. First of all, I'm going to set these to activate block with item. Yeah, activate block with item, I believe is what I need. There we go. Put that down. We're going to get our ender pearls or our ender lilies. We're going to plant those on here. Oh, derp. I could have just used my sword to teleport out. I was overthinking it. Okay, we're going to need some conduit. Am I really that low on energy conduit? I'm really that low on energy conduit. Well, I can use this. I should need more than seven, I don't... Well, I will need more than seven, won't I? I'm gonna hide my conduit. Yep. I won't need any more than this. And we'll put the power cell right there. By now, should be just about done with this. I think. I hope. Come on, be done. Well, in the meantime, we'll make the power cell. I need a machine frame. Okay. Uh, replication, please. Craft one, please. Got it. Make it. Good. Put the flawless glass away. I'm actually going to make a few more of these because there's something else that I want to try to do. I'm worried about my storage space and I'm not going to be able to get into AE for a while. So I kind of want to put in some more storage. And I have an idea of what I want to do. We'll make four. Is this thing done yet? Yes, it's done. Oh, I have an empowered emeratic block in there I forgot about too. This thing takes 24 million to make also. Okay. Power cell card. We need you. You know what? I'm just going to make three. I'm going to need them eventually. I've already got a couple of clients. Thought I had a couple of clients. Apparently I used them all. Oh well. Need some more solarium. So, you, 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 and you. To get you, to get you, to get almost you. I really feel like I should automate paper. Wouldn't be difficult using a garden cloche. There we go. Power cell card. How lazy am I? 
Lazy enough to tell what the hell. Hmm, I have no idea why my power is so low. Well, we're going to get to work fixing that soon, too. I'm going to pop you down. You're going to connect. We're going to set you to output. We're going to give you this card. These are now getting power. And lag spike. We can see we got an ender pearl already. How's that? Haha. <laughs> now, there's a problem. Like I said, this thing can't auto-harvest. So, we need a way to harvest our enderpearls when they grow. We're going to use a ranged collector for that. The ranged collector is an iron casing, two enderpearls, and a void crystal. It's stupid cheap. One of you. One of you. One of you. To get you. I have an iron casing, don't I? Didn't I just make an iron casing? One. 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 Need the hopper. There's that. There's that. The range collector will pop down. Let me put my magnet away so that I stop picking this stuff up automatically. I'm going to put the range collector right here, as soon as the butterfly leaves. We'll set this to a blacklist. It's got an empty blacklist, so it's going to automatically pick everything up, which is exactly what we want. And we're going to attach some conduit to it. We're going to need an item filter. Which means, again, I'm going to need a hopper. Just made you. Go ahead and make a few of them, since I seem to need hoppers for absolutely everything. Basic item filter. Get. We need a trash can. Bitch. Okay. The item conduit is going to go on the back of this. Trash can is going to go there. We are going to set you to insert ender lily seeds at high priority. We're going to set you to extract always. That's going to pull all of the ender lily seeds out and trash them. Why? We don't need ender lily seeds. We can't do anything with them except grow ender pearls. We're growing ender pearls. So. We've got a pretty decent ender pearl farm going on. Don't worry, it gets stupider. Let's get some more solarium going. We'll get a vibrant. Two silicon. And an enderman head. You can start cooking up solarium for me. You, as soon as I pull my first two solarium out, can start cooking up another one of these enders. We're going to put an ender chest on that, which means I need another Klein flask, which means I need another ender resonator. And of course, I'm out of bottles. Just crap the stack of the damn things. Tired of running out. There we go. Ender chest. We're going to put you right here. Set you to insert. 
that is going to allow all of the ender pearls that we're generating to get sucked out and get tossed in there. Good. Now, it gets even stupider. If we take a look at the greenhouse, we're going to see that the carbon dioxide level is zero, the oxygen level is 100. Well, that's what this carbon dioxide generator is for. It's going to block a coal. I have 32,000 coal. Let's not get a block of coal. Let's get a stack of blocks of coal. Let's put that in the carbon dioxide generator. That's going to start burning. My carbon dioxide level is going to start going up. As the carbon dioxide level goes up, the amount of ender pearls that this thing produces is going to go up as well. This thing is stupid. For right now, I'm going to disable this. Just so you guys can see, well actually, no, I'm going to wait until the carbon dioxide hits max level. Then we'll disable it so you guys can see how stupid this is. And this thing is just happily burning away. Carbon dioxide level is happily increasing. And we're getting ender pearls. We're getting lots of ender pearls. And oh shit. Um, this is a problem. <laughs> um, help, help, <laughs> can you please not, please, speaking of stupid, Okay, uh, I need conduit. Oh, thank goodness I have at least one item conduit left. Uh, you extract always. You insert, please. Okay, that's going to start collecting the weakened diamonds. Pull this out to collect the flawless. Okay, uh, this is stupid. Uh, keys. Get my keys out so I can lock and quantify these. Pivot. Uh, I may have to end the episode early. Huh. Okay, maybe not. Stupid butterflies getting into my build. Oh well, it's their fault. Although that is going to start sending a lot of pollen. I need to change this. I'm going to change that to never active. We're going to take this item filter out of here. We're going to grab an ender pearl and we're going to whitelist ender pearls on here. But that means I'm going to have to blacklist that. Actually, you know what? I can just blacklist. Blacklist Ender Pearls. So everything except Ender Pearls will go in there. Always active. Put the Enriched Gold away. Forgot that was even in there. Yeah, cause see now I'm getting shit tons of pollen in here. I don't want that. Uh, I need another piece of Ender Conduit. The item conduit. Give me a minute. 
copy there, insert, done. I'm going to have to upgrade these or I'm going to run into trouble real fast. Okay, let's go take a look at this. 70%. Look how fast these things are popping off. I disable this for a second. Look how fast this is generating ender pearls. Like I said, this is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. We've got stupid everywhere. All right. That's all I'm going to be able to get done this episode, so I'm going to call the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this build. I actually looked on YouTube and I couldn't see anyone else ever having done this build, so I think, for once, I might have done something unique. I've seen people use the greenhouse, but I've never seen them try it with the ender pearls. So, I think I might have been original. Holy crap, when does that happen? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been Night Dagger with episode 30 of Age of Engineering. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you like the series, make sure you like the series. And I'll catch you later, peeps. What the hell's going on here? I'll figure it out later.